Some doubleheader fun between two rivals. Indiana took game one, winning one nothing, and then in game two, it was Purdue rallying six to four. So in a battle between two rivals, Jenny Ritter and Lisa Byington with you, it was split down the middle here this afternoon. Yeah, and like I said, I think a rivalry, that's how it should be. You should battle both ways. It should come out both ways. I think we saw a lot of promise on both sides. Uh, we saw a lot of great pitching performances, and we saw some offense come alive here at the, the end of game two. Our recap begins with game one, and it really was a pitching duel between Tara Trainer and Lily Fetchel. And the only run of the game coming in the fourth, it was a diving catch in center from Lauren Stewart, but that allowed for the only run to be scored. But as I mentioned, really kind of the headline of game one was the battle between Trainer and Fetcho. And just outstanding pitching performances. Fetcho, we know, always has good control, always will keep her team in a game. But Trainer, how fun was she to watch? A lot of movement, a lot of promise from a young freshman. Yeah, and only a freshman. So it was a little bit of a different story, though. Game two started as a pitching duel. There was no scoring done until the fifth. Indiana's Cassie Farmer went and deep, and the two-run shot put Indiana up to nothing. Then Purdue went to work. The single from Kristen Hopman scored two, CJ Parsons and Maya Hughes, and that tied it at two. The pass ball then scores Kristen Hopman and gives Purdue the three to two lead. The error here adds another run for the Boilers. They got four in the fifth. And then maybe the feel good story of game two in the sixth inning, the pinch hit situation for Purdue. It's Emily Kenny getting an opportunity and she goes deep, a two run shot. Just two of her five hits this year have gone deep, but Indiana didn't go away in the seventh. Michelle Huber with another two run shot for Indiana. That cut the lead to two and then the final out, the chase down into shallow left field for Paris Andrew, and that sealed the deal for Purdue. So a split right down the middle. Game one, the final, Indiana winning one nothing, And then in game two, Purdue taking it six to four. We hope you enjoyed it from West Lafayette.